Hey. Hey. Kim, I've told you a million times you have to go upstairs and go to sleep if you want Santa Claus to come. I was thinking about remodeling the fireplace. Oh, God. What? Come on. Every time I've said I wanted to change the fireplace, you've agreed. Not really, Kim. Sometimes I just smile and nod and hope you'll move on. Well, I'm not moving on. I asked Christine and she agreed with me. Didn't she, Christine? Yeah, that nodding and smiling thing, who do you think you got that from? It's just not a good time for me. I got all this stuff going on at work. I want to come home and relax, not build a new fireplace. You don't have to be involved in this at all if you don't want to. I'll do it. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, you just say you can handle these projects around the house by yourself, but you always end up dragging me into it. Do not. Then how do I know what a pillow sham is, Kim? How do I know that? What is that? It's a pillowcase you can't even put your head on. That is a sham. Just you suck me into this every time. You know, first you'll need my opinion on what contractor to hire. Then you won't be sure of the paint color. And we'll argue about that for a day and a half. Then you're going to drag me off to the store to pick Greg, out tiles. I thought you would want to be involved in this, but fine. I can do this by myself. Well, you say you can, but you can't. It's like when Emily says she can go to the bathroom by herself. Either way, I'm going to be up to my elbows in crap. <laughs> Well, don't worry. Believe it or not, I can handle this on my own. All you have to do is come home from work and watch TV. I'm having the fireplace redone, and I'm doing it by myself. Okay. Don't you nod and smile at me. <laughs> I can do this. Don't you think so, Christine? Of course you can, Kim. You can do anything you put your mind to. Thank you. Okay, did you get that? Nodding and smiling is out. You can do anything you put your mind to, is in. You gotta watch the kid in love with you. Last day, say it got the book before the zoo. Last day, you can live your life the best you can. Last day, to your family, screws up the plan. Last day, what family is family is family. Last day, family is family is family. Last day, last day, last day. I was thinking about doing something different, but not too different. A little eclectic without sticking out too much. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, uh, no need. You don't need to meet him. He's not involved in this. Go ahead. Watch TV. Go. Sit down. Anyway, I wanted to expand the dynamic of the room without losing the Spanish feel of the house. <laughs> I guess I'm looking for some suggestions. Blue? Really? I, I don't know. These contractors are so frustrating. None of them has any ideas. I, I don't want the fireplace to pull focus from the rest of the room. But the hearth should be the centerpiece of the home. Yeah. Back in the guest house, we feel the same way about our space heater. <laughs> We wanted to put it closer to the bed, but that made it too hot. And then we wanted to put it by the window, but then there was a chance that the curtains might catch on fire. It turned out more than a chance. <laughs> Sit down, it's another contractor. Hi, Kim? Yes, um, Gordon? Yeah. Wow, look at this space. You've really taken advantage of the light. Thank you. What I was thinking of doing was... Shh, I'm sorry. Before a client tells me what they would like to do, I'd like to take a minute to think about what I would like to do. Do you mind? No, not at all. Can I turn this down for a second? He always watches it so loud. <laughs> I'd start with the fireplace. That's what I want to do. Can I have the remote back? What do you think about real Spanish tiles? I love them. But let's not go straight traditional. I think we can get a little funky. What about a brick base? We could do that. Or I've been experimenting with some really cool acid treatments on concrete. We could do a nice earthy color. I'll bring you some samples. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So, um, where did you study art? How did 
did you know I studied art? Oh, come on, look at this place. It should be on a canvas. Uh-huh. I got a BA from the University of Virginia. Yeah, and you're getting some BS right here in your own living room. <laughs> I was also a graphic designer for four years. I knew you were one of us. <laughs> Look, um, I have to check on another job, but I really want to work with you on this. I think you and I could do something totally original here. Do you want to give me an estimate before you leave? Oh, I don't do estimates. These guys, they always bid way too low, and then halfway through the job, they jack up the price and hold you hostage. I charge 500 a day. Usually, it turns out to be less than any bid you're going to get. Mm. Okay, great. I'll call you. Okay, bye. Bye. Wow. Yeah, what a phony. Phony? I think he's great. Are you kidding me? Oh, Kim, this place should be on a canvas. Oh, Kim, I could tell you're one of us and $500 a day. What's that about? I am one of them. And if you looked at the other estimates, you'd see that $500 a day is not that unreasonable. He didn't even say how long it's... We're not talking about this. This isn't your project. Well, it might not be my project, but you're going to be paying him with my... Greg... Before you finish that sentence, I want you to know that if I hear the words my money coming out of your mouth, you're going to be trying to pry my foot out of your ass. Good luck with your project. We could go with pumpkin. I like it. But I don't think Greg will go for pumpkin. He doesn't like colors with girly-sounding names. No problem. I've dealt with lots of husbands like him before. From now on, we'll call it New Basketball. He'll love it. Oh, and if we end up going with the avocado, we'll call it Golf Course Green. You're evil. (laughs) Where's my coffee mug? Uh Uh-oh. Are you the one who loves Garfield but hates Mondays? (laughs) Yeah. Sorry. It was the biggest cup, and I wanted a lot of coffee. Don't worry about it, Greg. Just take another mug. Hey, you know what might be fun? That little art gallery I told you about is near the tile store. When we go there this afternoon, we should pop in. Oh, I don't know. I was going to make lunch. Oh, we'll get something while we're out. Oh, sorry. Guess you're going to have to get up a little earlier next time, (laughs) sleepyhead. Yeah, okay. Will do. He'd stay in bed all day if he could. I don't know how people do that. Well, if I got $500 a day to drink coffee and make chit-chat, I'd hop out of bed like a little jackrabbit, too. (laughs) That guy's got quite a racket going on in there. What? Gordon, they're going to art galleries together, having lunch, like I'm paying the guy $500 a day to date my wife. (laughs) I think you're a little jealous. What? I think maybe you're a little threatened that your wife has found someone with some common interest who isn't you. I couldn't care less. I don't like talking about art and design and all that stuff. Besides, why be jealous of that guy? Yeah, I guess he is kind of nerdy looking. Yeah, and we all know Kim is only attracted to big, muscly, model-looking types. (laughs) Like The Rock over there. God, what is that smell? Gordon made himself a VLT sandwich. VLT? What's a V stand for? Vomit? That's vegan bacon. Tastes pretty good if you wrap it around a hot dog. Well, I'm glad at $500 a day he can find time to make a heart smart meal. Where is he now? Gathering acorns for dessert? Nah, he knocked off around two. Two o'clock? That's it. Kim! Kim! What? I can't take this anymore. What? It's been four days and this thing still isn't finished. I said I wouldn't get involved, but I'm not going to sit around and watch you be taken advantage of. It's done. What? It's done. I wanted to surprise you. He finished in half the time he thought, and the price was lower than all the other estimates. Wow. I did it all by myself, Greg. Hired a guy, figured out what I wanted, paid him, and you didn't have to lift a finger. Well, actually, I... Did lift a finger a few times, but it was never where Gordon could see it. Yeah, well, it's all done, and I did it all by myself. What do you have to say for yourself, huh? What do you have to say? What's that big splotch? What? Right there. It looks like it's a different color than the rest of it. Oh. Well, that must have changed color when it dried. So your, your buddy Gordon kind of messed up, didn't he? <laughs> it's not a big deal. He's coming by tomorrow to take some pictures for his portfolio, and I'll show it to him, and he'll fix it. Oh, yeah, he messes up, and you're all patient. Last week, I get a little pee on the floor, and I never hear the end of it. (laughs) 
Greg, it was the kitchen floor. It was a long ride home. I was lucky to even make it into the house. You see what I was talking about? Yeah. The primer I used must have reacted badly with the acid. A kid in my high school reacted badly with some acid. Now he wears a helmet to the market. <laughs> Like I said, I've never used this particular faux finish before. But you can fix it, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, you know what would look good? If you put a pillow over it. What? Yeah, yeah. You could put a pillow over it, and then when people come over, they could sit there. It would be like an extra seat. See? Funky, huh? <laughs> Well, what do you say we just fix it, and then if I want to put a pillow over it, I still can? Look, yeah, but you see, the thing is, in order to fix it, I have to completely redo the whole thing. And if you're going to put a pillow there anyway... Oh, I never said I was going to put a pillow there. Okay, you're, you're right. You're totally right. Um, I have a job to do tomorrow, but I'll come by in the next few days and fix it. Thank you. If I could see one thing... You see what I mean? You can't I'm eat... not putting a pillow over it. Right, right. Pillow, wrong. <laughs> Basket of kindling, I'll see you in a few days. Hey, Gordon, it's Kim. Look, it's been a couple of days and I haven't heard from you. No big deal or anything. I was just wondering when you were coming by. Give me a call. Bye. Hey, Gordon, it's Kim. Listen, it's been a week and I haven't gotten a call back yet. Maybe you went out of town or something, but if you're checking your messages, I would really appreciate a call so I know when you might be coming by to finish the job. Thanks. <sighs> hey, schmuck! What the hell is going on? I've left you ten messages in the last two weeks and you still haven't called me back. Maybe you forgot who I am, Kim Warner. I paid you to do a job. Now, we picked out tiles together. We went to the art gallery together. I made coffee for you. <laughs> you know what, if you think that you're gonna just ignore me and act like none of that ever happened, think again. I will not be ignored. If I don't hear from you by the end of the day, I am gonna hunt you down and drag you back to this house by your <laughs> Just grab you by the and pull them until you have no idea where they are anymore. You. Do you want me to go? I'm, I'm taking care of it. Thank you. Hey, Gordon. Message number 57. 57. Call me. Kim, why don't you just do what I used to do when a guy didn't turn my call? I don't think making out with his brother is going to help. <laughs> not with that attitude, it's not. Dude, your wife sort of lost her mind. I know, I've never seen her like this. It's kind of hot. <laughs> it's pretty scary when someone screws her over. I know, it's great. Before she calms down, I'm going to take her by that dry cleaner so it lost my pants. <laughs> I can't stand seeing her like this. I, I wish there was something I could do to help. Well, then help her. Well, how, Jimmy? I mean, you heard her. She wants me to stay out of it. You know, what am I supposed to do? Fix it. Get involved without her knowing. Well, how? Gordon's not returning her calls. He's certainly not going to return mine. Where's his number? I think it's on the bulletin board. Here it is. Gordon Musty. Jimmy, that says Gordon must die. Gordon must die. <laughs> What are you doing? You just got to trust me on this, Greg, okay? When you deal with a snake, you have to think like a snake. Hello, Gordon. Yeah, how you doing, man? This is, uh, this is Wayne Gibson. Yeah, uh, look, I, uh, I got your number from uh, an interior designer I'm, I'm working with, and uh, I was really thinking about uh, having some major remodeling done, and I, I, you know, I'd really love to talk to you. Can you give me a call? Okay. Uh, 310-555-0122. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. How'd you think of that? That's how I always get my father to call me back. 
<laughs> Except with him, I tell him he won a free television. Well, okay, say he calls back. Now, what am I supposed to say to him? Well, you could just talk to him man to man, okay? You, you just gotta tell him the one thing that every guy can understand and sympathize with. Tell him your wife is crazy. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey! Gordon, yeah, thanks for getting back to me so quickly. I appreciate it. Listen, can you hold on for a second? Uh, yeah, Gordon. Uh, no, this this isn't Lane. This is Greg Warner, Kim Warner's husband. Listen, no, please, please don't hang up. Gordon, I really need to speak to you man to man. Look, my wife is crazy. <laughs> I know, I know. I told her to put a pillow over it, too. <laughs> Listen, I really appreciate you doing this. Uh, hey, I get it. I could tell after the 20th message that she's crazy. I feel bad for you. You know, if you need help, there's numbers you can call. Oh, in fact, here, if you ever really get nervous, use this. It's an attack whistle. Well, thank you. I feel safer already. I'm just happy we could find a time for me to fix it while she was out. Greg, you'll never guess whose truck I saw parked around the corner. That weaselly little jerk must have... Well, well, well. Look who finally decided to finish the job. Look, I don't want any trouble. I was just leaving. Guess my messages must have finally gotten to you, huh? See, and you didn't think I could get things done on my own. Yep, you were right. Got things done all by yourself. Okay, see you later, Gordon. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go... That's right. Job well done. <laughs> Take care now. Scurry on out without apologizing. I guess you're just too much of a cowardly rat to admit how wrong you were. Well, what? Okay, drive safe. <laughs> hey, I didn't come back because I was wrong. I came back because your husband called me and explained to me you were crazy. <laughs> what? Crazy, you know, crazy talented with all this art stuff. <laughs> I came back for him. He tracked me down and told me what a crazy, miserable lunatic you are. I felt bad for him. I mean, I can change my phone number and escape your psychodrama, but this poor guy has to listen to your insane ranting about your fireplace for the rest of his life. <laughs> hey, take it easy, Greg. I left some cards in case you have friends who need work done. <laughs> Well, the fireplace looks terrific. How could you do this? How could you sell me out to someone who so obviously screwed me over by calling and telling them I'm crazy? What were you thinking, Greg? What the hell were you thinking? Come on, Kim. I was just trying to help. And your way of helping is saying I'm crazy? I don't actually think you're crazy. I was tricking the guy, and he's a big enough idiot to believe it. I mean, he came back and he finished the job. Now, isn't that what you really wanted? Yes. But I didn't want you to have to get involved. I didn't have to. I wanted to. Now, the fireplace does look great. Yeah, it looks great, and it's finished, and we did it as a team. You really don't think I'm crazy, right? Of course not. You wouldn't happen to know what happened to my truck, would you? <laughs> truck? Did something happen to your truck? Yeah, somebody smashed up my truck. Really? Does it look bad? It looks awful. <laughs> Why don't you put a pillow over it? <laughs> <laughs>
I was just in the garage looking for my... Who's this? Uh, that's David Miller. He, uh, he won a uh, walk-on role on Yes there at a charity event. And uh, we didn't have any scenes with any extras in it tonight, so... <laughs> so, uh... I gotta stay late and do a scene with this guy just sitting on the couch. <laughs> Greg, it's for charity. Okay, besides, he brought his whole family here from Boston. <laughs> Fine. Well, at least go stand in high def. Uh, a little further. <laughs> David, you got a uh, high-definition television set? No, huh? All right. Uh, well, listen, you're probably going to have to go out and buy one. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to see yourself. The other way. No, go the other way. <laughs> <laughs>